In this video I will make a simple table saw with a circular saw. First I screw a small 1x1 strip below my board. I drill pilot holes, because I don't want to break the strip when I insert the screws. That strip will be my guide to cut a groove in the board. I measure the distance from the saw blade to the end of the riving knife. I will use a distance of 4 cm, just to have some margin. I put the circular saw against the strip, and I mark the position on the board. I make another mark 4 cm in front of that. I take the saw blade casing apart. I remove the riving knife and I assemble the casing of the blade. I check the position of the saw. In my case, the saw is too near to the edge of the board, so I move the marks 4 cm to separate it. I clamp the board to the table frame. Using a square, I make sure that the saw blade is at a 90 degrees angle with the board. I rest my saw against the strip, and I move the base to the first mark. I don't push too much the saw against the strip, because that could deform the metallic sheet that connects the base with the rest of the saw. And if that happens, I won't have a vertical cut. I turn on the saw, and I push it down cutting the board. Now I move it straight on, cutting along 4 cm, until I can see the second mark. And there is the groove I need. I assemble the riving knife. I check that both the riving knife and the saw blade fit inside the groove. I will use some bolts with blocking nuts to attach the circular saw base to the board. I drill 4 holes with the same diameter of the bolts in the saw base, 2 holes in the front of the base and 2 holes in the back. I clean all 4 drills with a file. I put a couple of boards below the board right in the groove, and I clamp everything together. I put my circular saw in place, where I want to attach it to the board, and I use the saw base as a template to mark where I need to drill the board. Now I drill the holes. I insert the bolts in the holes. and I pass the bolts through the holes I drilled in the saw base. I put the blocking nuts. Using a screwdriver and pliers, I tighten the nuts. Now I turn the board and I remove one of the bolts. I drill a counter bore to set the bolt head flush with the surface of the board. I must be careful, because I don't want to drill too deep. It could be easier with a router, because they have an easy to set depth stop. With a small screwdriver I can flatten the bottom of the hole. The base of the bolt's head is usually flat. I tighten again the bolt and the nut and I repeat the full process with all the bolts. I fold in some centimeters of painter's tape on itself, and I left 3 centimeters that I still can paste. I press the switch, 
and I put the painter's tape around it. Being folded in half, I will not half glue on the switch when I remove it. Another option is to use a plastic bridle to lock the switch. I screw my board to the table frame, but first I drill pilot holes. The screws I use have a bevel below the head. I think I can make a countersink using Phillips screwdriver to set the heads flush with the board. If needed, I can use a file to make the heads flush with the board. I put a wooden bar against the saw blade. I draw that line. I will use it to set my fence. So far my fence will be that wooden bar clamped to the table. Now I have another fence. You can watch how I made it in my channel. I check the distance from the blade to the fence. I measure from the beginning and from the end of the blade. I will need a safety switch to turn on the saw. Now I can cut with my table saw, but I will need some pushers to work safe. I think it was not a good idea to use that particle board in this wet climate. Now I have another homemade table saw that I made with a plywood board. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also subscribe to my other channel, Enredando No Garage, with more than 100 videos in Spanish. Thanks for watching.